Okay, so when it comes to the overall packaging, now it does come obviously in a three pack. It does have little three little bags with screws and the overall fan dimensions are 140 by 140 times 25. The overall volt ranges, now these are volt by DC and it is between five and 13.2. The overall fan speed, of course, that is an RPM is 1200. When it comes to the overall noise level, however, it is rated for a 22.9 decibel. The airflow, the overall airflow, which means CFM, is between 56 and 95. The overall air pressure, it is a 0 0.9 with an input wattage of 3.6. Now, when it comes to the overall safety current, that would be A for amps, and that is a 0 0.3. The light in and the overall connectors, it does come with a three pin, five volt ARGB connector, as well as a four pin PWM connector, which means that the, the, the fans are both fully controllable through software or through the motherboard as well for PWM power. The life expectancy of these fans are at a range of 25 degrees with a lifespan of 60,000 hours. So you get 16 LEDs, you get nine fan blades that are made for air pressure. Then of course, then you've got a long life rifle bearing, which of course is a closed loop motor, keeps the RPM no matter the resistance. These fans do come with a three year warranty and then these fans are actually they were designed to be integrated with the overall new products coming out from be quiet now you've probably seen the light base 600 lx case as well as the light loop all-in-one liquid cooler these fans were designed to be integrated with either the aio or the cases now when it comes to these leds they of course when it comes to be quiet probably you know that the last light wings were fantastic they were very successful well this time be quiet has decided to go all out with the rgb now i'm all for that because well she tech here loves rgb i love my rgb because you know why because you can make it whatever you want okay then so when it comes to how i'm testing i am using the silent loop 2 280 mil aio it's because it's the only 280 mil i have got so let's get these fans installed so that does mean i'm only be able to use two and that's what they look like on the aio right let's get the this beautiful aio from B quiet installed and that is the fan installed now let's get this installed in the case shall we Okay, this is the Be Quiet Lightwings LX140 PWM white ARGB fans. What I'm going to do is put the mic up towards the fan to 50% and pull away. Very silent at 50%. 
Same thing, but this time 100%. All I'm going to say is Be Quiet has lived up to its name. They are whisper quiet. Okay, it's benchmark time. So, normal run of tests, Cinebench R23, Blender Pavilion, Blender Classroom, and 3D Mark Seam Test. Now, I've done two different types of tests for this particular one. I've done one to 50%, one to 100. Now, for 50% fan speed, now it was 700 RPM at 50%. The room temp at the time of testing, this is for the 50% fan speed and 100% fan speed, was at 15 Celsius, but it did go up by two degrees. So, CPU clocks were 4.9, but did go down to a 4.2. The overall CPU power did go up to 198 watts, but did go down to 180. So here are the overall thermal results. Now, Cinebench R23, the idles are 28 with a max of 87. Blender Pavilion, 28 with a max of 85. Blender Classroom, idles, 28 with a max of 85. And 3D Mark CPU test, idles, 28 with a max of 80 Celsius. Now, Fans are 100% and this time the CPU did draw 200 watts and did go down to 184 watts. CPU clocks were exactly the same, 4.9 and did go down to 4.2. So, 100% fan speed, Cinebench R23, the idles were 29 with a max of 85, Blender Pavilion, idles 29 with a max of 83, Blender Classroom, idles 29 with a max of 82 and 3D Mark CPU test idles 29 with a max of 80 Celsius. Okay then, so look, when it comes to pricing, now there I will put them on the screen for you below, but this specific pack is £45. That's three light wings for £45. The previous light wings for 140s were 65 quid. That was a lot of money back then, but the previous ones, I will say, they were a lot better when it comes to that. They were a higher end quality fan. These are more of a budget variant because they aren't as thick. They, they aren't as over engineered like the previous light wings. Now, I like these because the pricing of £45 is right in the sweet spot because a lot of different brands do price their ARGB fans around that. Some are a little bit lower, some are a bit higher, but Be Quiet are very, very good and very well known for very good quality products. Now, whether you're into RGB or not, that's completely up to you. If you're not, then that's fine. But the like I've said before in many of my other videos when it comes to not just Be Quiet, but ARGB fans or AIOs that has emphasis on loads of RGB. The best things best thing about RGB is that it's controllable. You can control it however you want. When it comes to controlling this, I did use the MSI Center on this motherboard, which is an X570 Pro Wi-Fi Carbon from MSI. Now you can use Signal RGB to control them as well, but make sure that if you're gonna daisy chain these, make sure that you plug in the last connector onto a three pin header on your motherboard. I'll put a picture by here so you know what the header looks like. But other than that, I think the pricing is fantastic. They look fantastic because they're white. I love the white versions of their uh, their light wings because the they just look absolutely amazing. White products should be a staple in this industry. At the end of the day, I understand that white is a lot more expensive to produce, but it looks so much better. Whether you agree, that's completely up to you. But £45 bargain for three fans. Individually, not so much. They're about £15 a fan. So I would sway you towards a three pack. These will be available in overclockers, scan. They will be available. I will make sure to leave links down below so you guys can go check them out. Now, they these fans, like I do say during the overall specifications, they are they were built to integrate with Be Quiet latest products, the Light Loop, that's the AIO, as well as the Light Base 600 and the 900 cases. Now, I will be having both of them in eventually but until then you will have to cope with my my mug 
with m different products. Yeah. So look, don't forget to subscribe because I have got so much stuff coming. It's unbelievable. I, like I said in my previous video, I might as well be a warehouse at this point. So yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Good. Bye.